Alrighty, so got lots to do. I've been shifting things around and I think I finally have the layout down that I want for this area and it just kind of makes sense now. So that's what I'm working on right now. I gotta pick up this stuff and move it along. But yeah, we're, we're gonna basically recreate this like river area over here instead of where it was because uh, we need to move it all. It needs to move. <laughs> Because I think I finally figured it out because I'm like, oh, I'm running out of space for how I'm trying to do this, but I've got it now. So what I've done is I've moved this whole food truck thing to over here right behind, uh, right behind Marty's house here, which is a pancake restaurant. So, and hi, Ty, nice to see you here. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. But yeah, bringing that over here, I think it just makes sense. And then we'll build the river out over here. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just start scaping out a river over here. Because that's what I really want. I want this to be, you know, I want there to be a river near here. So we'll do that. Uh, I guess maybe I should put down the furniture too, though, real quick. So we'll do that. Uh, frick, how did I even have the furniture before? We'll figure it out. But yeah. Welcome in, good to have you. Let's uh, throw this down here. There we go. Push that through, just like that. Just like that. Uh, actually, how, mm, no, okay, let me pull. No, actually, I think that's right. I can bring it like this. Yeah, that, that seems right. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's do like this as well. I might be, no, that, okay, that's right. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even matter, we'll figure it out. There we go, get another one here. And hi, Samantha, welcome in, how's it going? Oh, nuts. It got turned all around, god dang it. Oh my god, thank you for the hat and the mustache. <laughs> thank you so much, I really appreciate it, Ty. <laughs> oh, a good old yeehaw to you too. <laughs> and hi, how's it going, Cassie? Nice to see you. Let's, uh, I think we'll do like that, actually. Let's pull this out here. Uh, actually, I, I, I want to bring this up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And so that way we can put down the hedges. Just like so. <laughs> Yeah, we we love us a good yeehaw around these parts. <laughs> I love watching your content. Oh, thank you, McCormack. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you do. I enjoy making it, and as long as I enjoy making it, we're going to keep going with it. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're liking it. Uh, let's see. Okay, nice. And thank you so much for the follows as well. I appreciate that. Okay, so we've got this here. Um, I think I need, like... Uh, I think I need another hedge maybe, but actually I think we need to move this up a little bit and maybe then I'll feel better. You just made my day. No, you made my day. <laughs> Welcome in. It's good to have you. Let's do that. Maybe, maybe it'll be better. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Basically, I have this food truck area and it was in a more natural part, but I'm thinking I'm going to bring it to this area here. Maybe I even have like a bridge coming into this area. Maybe that would be a good idea. You know, because I have this bridge here, which this bridge has got to go. It's got to go. And maybe I have a bridge coming into this spot possibly. You know what? Let's build the river and then we'll figure we'll figure this out. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and build the river. But how's everybody's weekend going? The start of your weekend, I should say. How's that going? Mine is going good. I, I know that some people were commenting saying I hadn't been streaming this week. And yeah, my brain was doing the spicy. It was being spicy. <laughs> so I just like couldn't, I couldn't make myself stream. What's the display on the side of the truck called? I love it. Yeah, so this is called a covered counter. Yeah, the, this is called a covered counter that's in front of the truck. And it comes in different colors. It comes in like pink and dark brown and stuff too. So it's it's a great, great thing to have. I love the heck out of mine. I, I use covered counters like everywhere. So we're also gonna build a little bit of a waterfall moment like this over here. So we're gonna do like four spaces here. 
But yeah, welcome in. Uh, do like this and like this. Da, da, da. Um, I'm glad you're feeling better, hopefully. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling better. I love it better than the stall. Yeah, me too. I, I really love the covered shelf better than the stall. I like the stall still, but not, um, I don't know, not in every context. And how do you get the cool designs? Um, so I have a TikTok on some of my favorite designs that you can find uh, the creator codes for. I'm traveling to Texas. Ooh, um, stuck in me. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. I, you know, I hope you have fun in Texas. Uh, hold on. Well, let me see real quick. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Amandis. Yeah, I know. My health, health comes first for sure. My weekend has been off to a terrible start. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And here's my dream address if you want to come visit it. I actually updated it, but my dream address is not done, but you're more than welcome to come by. Just take a screenshot on your phone. I'll take it back down in just a second here. But yeah, I did update it, so you're more than welcome to come visit. And hi, Pine Pineapple. Good to have you back. And Ty, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I'm feeling better too. It, you know, you know how the brain like just tells you like, hmm. It's time to just have a little breakdown and think everything's the worst, you know? So that's what happened <laughs> earlier this week. <laughs> Can you show what path looks, what the, your path looks like on your map? Um, so, I mean, I, you can't really see it that much because I don't use like the cusp, the, like the standard path a lot, but that's what it looks like. I'm dying to find apples or peaches. Well, um, if anything, there's always nookas on that can help you. Um, plus people in the community who can help you if you have like Nintendo Switch online. Um, if you don't have that, like sometimes letters from your mom will have um, other fruits. Uh, sometimes your villagers will give you other fruits and that that's how you can do that too. I have them. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I don't, don't forget Treasure Island. I don't really use treasure islands much um i only just used one recently to get some of the nook mile items everything else you see i've bought over uh long periods of time i just like really bought a lot of stuff yeah it's okay though oh thanks have you ever been yeah i've been to i've been to like a couple of them um really again to just get nook mile items and i'm not gonna really talk about treasure islands just because i don't really and I don't really know about them too much. I'm not an expert on them. I just was recommended one, and so I used it. How do you access Nookazon? You'd go on the web, like go on uh, your phone or on your computer and just look up Nookazon. I recently just restarted my island, and how are you liking that, Rascal? How are you liking that? Because some people love it. Some people don't like re uh, restarting. I didn't know about the fruit. I've been looking for them as well. Yeah. It's really hard to get all the fruit, but yeah, if you work with people online or, uh, yeah, sometimes your villagers and your mom will send you other fruit. No, god dang it. Where'd you get those figurines in front of the TV? Yeah, I got those off of like eBay and Macari, Baii, basically resale websites. They were sold in the early 2000s only in Japan. And thank you for the follows. And hi, Nicole. Welcome in. How's it going? Um, okay, so... Yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of a waterfall moment here next to this area. I'm thinking we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, well, no, I think that's that's fine. This is... Mm, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> so cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the, I, I really like them. They're, they're really cute. I collect all sorts of Animal Crossing stuff. If you're new here, I, I have a big Animal Crossing collection that I post about. So yeah, definitely go check that out if you want to. Macari, the website? I thought it was an app. Yeah, Macari is a website and an app. Most apps, I mean, tend to be websites. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, the website Macari and eBay and uh, Bai, where I get a lot of my Animal Crossing stuff and just Japanese exclusive stuff in general just relaxing oh i'm doing great definitely doing fantastic i used to make and sell animal crossing candles on etsy the ones with the faces are the oh how cute that sounds really cute i love that i love candles take care of yourself i have to be up early to drive okay you take care of yourself too please drive safely and i hope everything goes well um but yeah thank you so much for stopping by for a little bit thank you i really appreciate it nuts Okay, I think I do want to move this back a little bit. Nuts! I built it too close, maybe. Just a little bit. That's okay. 
But yeah, I, you know, I didn't stream too much this week when it comes to TikTok just because I have been taking care of uh, mental health. So we're all good. It's all good. But thank you so much for um, almost 2,000 likes. I really appreciate y'all. And thank you so much for those who have followed as well. I really appreciate that. There we go. Because we're going to we're gonna build this up just a little bit more. There we go. I'm new in Animal Crossing. Any tips? Hoard everything. Hoard all the resources. You never know when you're going to need it. Hoard all the furniture. Never know when you're going to need it and stuff. I feel stuck in my town. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I would look up like tour videos, like island tour videos on YouTube and Pinterest and stuff because there's all sorts of ideas. And if you hear anybody yelling, my husband's playing a game with his friends. So, you know, it's Friday night. You, you play with the pals and you scream at them. So, <laughs> But yeah, I would hoard all the items, um, and yeah, it, as soon as you can get a swimsuit, get a swimsuit so that way you can swim in the ocean and get a bunch of sea critters and sell them, and that'll make you a good amount of money, too. I love you the most, Shadow. Welcome in. How are you? Is Animal Crossing New Horizons finished? I'm still waiting for another update. Yeah, Sarah, you and I both, but unfortunately, um, there, it, it seems like it's finished. It doesn't look like there's going to be another update. I just wanted to say I always watch your live and it inspires me to play. Oh, Swiz Swizzle, thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you love to watch and uh, I'm glad that you also get to play too. Because you need to be playing for you too. Balloon, okay, Shadow, god dang it. Frick nuggets. <laughs> love listening, I'm always alone. Oh, well, I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad. Nuts, I gotta jump over the river, Shadow, to get this god dang balloon. These are still... The slingshots you gave me, by the way. <laughs> and well, hello, welcome in. Uh, nuts. Okay, I, I think I think I'm safe. Yeah, I'm safe now. All right, there we go. All right, what's it gonna be? It better be worth my time. Let's see. A mining car. Very interesting. Hold on. Let's let's come over here and we'll put it down and see what the hell it is. I'm pretty sure it's a big vehicle. Let's see. No, it's not. Ooh! Oh, this can be customized to be, like, all sorts of different gemstones and stuff, though. I've seen, like, people with, like, witchy islands have these, like, be colored, like, different gemstones and stuff. That's really cool. I've never had that item before. Um, getting cozy after a vet trip. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Wait, I can plant flowers in the sand? Yeah, you can plant flowers in the sand. A lot of people do it because uh, I, I plant my flowers there for storage reasons. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to keep them there. Oh, we're going to move this back one more space. I'm so sorry. But yeah, there's a gold recipe for it too. Oh, there is. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I never had the mining cart, so I had no ad earthly idea. I guess let's move it back another space too. I want it to kind of align where it was before. It's perfect. Oh, hell yeah. And thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. People also plant in sands so they don't respawn. That's true. If you plant flowers in the sand, they don't, uh, they don't like spawn more flowers. They'll just stay there. Um, because yeah, if you have them in the grass, then more flowers will grow. So we're probably going to change this orchard area anyways. The balloon provides once more. Yeah, I'm surprised. That's a good balloon prize. I haven't had a good balloon prize in a minute. Uh, is this your first island? Yeah, I've had this island since um, freaking uh, March of 2020 when the game first released. I just, um, I have reiterated the island's theme many times. <laughs> Having a present drop in the water is a Nook Miles reward. I found that out. It is a, a Nook Miles reward. Hey, Penny, stop it. Stop. We're not barking. Sorry, my dogs are trying to bark at whatever. And that'll wake up my kid is but yeah um yeah so you can get rewarded for a balloon falling into water but i've already got those rewards so i don't want to do that anymore <laughs> all right this is fine we'll do this and thank you so much for the follows i appreciate it uh, let's come back up here too and we will penny you better cut it out you better stop borking uh, do you have a dream address? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, frick nuggets. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go a minute here. Um, take a screenshot on your phone so that way you can come visit my dream address. Um, it's not an old island design. Um, it's just the most recent one. So sorry, I don't have the old dream address. This is just the most recent one. 
what is that, uh, hold on, what is that tub with what looks to be an apple in it? So, I don't, oh, I know what you're talking about. So, this is a seasonal item that you can buy from the seasonal Nook store shop on the, uh, so yeah, let's come over here. So, it is called, because yeah, some people ask about it, it is called a bathtub with yuzu. That's what it's called. How'd you get the rest of those pass? I only have a half offered. Um, I'm not sure what you mean, um, but I do have a TikTok on the pass that I have on my island. I was wondering why I didn't get anything last time I went on the water. Um, yes, it, it, it doesn't happen every time. But yeah, so this is a seasonal event item. I can't remember when it came out, but basically, if you Google that item, bathtub with yuzu, you would find it when you go to the Nook Shopping, go to Special Goods, and then you go over to Seasonal. That's where you would find it. You would find it in the Seasonal. Uh, the Pass in the Build Mode. Um, I don't remember how to unlock all of these. It's been forever since I've unlocked these. I would Google it, but I'm sure what it would probably be is buying something with your nook miles at the nook miles machine i'm pretty sure that's what you got to do i'm trying to get oranges but i can't get them nook is on if you have online um nintendo switch online then nook is on would be good to trade with people to get those at what point do we get the nook shop app i think you have to buy it with nook miles um at the nook miles uh at the nook miles machine at resident services um you unlock them yeah what's what is that wood tub that's called a bathtub with yuzu y-u-z-u um it's a seasonal item i can't remember when it when it sells in the nook miles or the the nook shopping app but it that's where you'd find it is the nook shopping app you know what actually i kind of like it like this what's nook is on so nook is on is a fan-made website where people go to trade animal crossing in-game stuff you can trade for all sorts of stuff on there. So if you have Nintendo, uh, uh, if you have a Nintendo Online membership, then that's a great place to go to get items that you're missing and can't find, such as like different fruits and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, Shadow's completely right. It's adorable. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. What's up, Bulba? Got one of my dogs looking at me one of them there are a few <laughs> how do you get ideas to fill uh blank spaces on your island honestly i watch a lot of like tour videos on uh youtube and stuff and that's how i've gotten a lot of my ideas is just watching those um so yeah i highly recommend like even looking on pinterest is really good too that's how i get a lot of ideas too i searched your tiktok for path video cannot find it. It's a recent one. It's a recent TikTok. Um, probably about a week old, but there's something saying like my favorite pass or something. Um, but there, there is one in there. It's a recent TikTok. I fill blank spaces with mazes. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I love that. My sister was running at, it slipped. Oh no, pineapple. How do you get that shaved? what shaved I'm so sorry I don't understand what's that app on the phone with the flower inside the house oh so this is from the uh, the expansion pack that you can get for Animal Crossing this is from Happy Home Paradise basically you go into the Nintendo eShop and you can buy the expansion pack for $25 and it allows you to create homes for all, uh, all of the villagers and main characters um, and it makes you it allows you to make a school and a restaurant a cafe a hospital a clothing store all sorts of good stuff it it, 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 it lets you have a lot of content honestly it's really worth the $25 Sorry, my daughter, daughter was texting. No worries. No worries at all. So this shovel you unlock at once your island is at three stars. That's the path video. Oh, thank you, Shadow. I appreciate it. Um, are you making a lake? No, I am making a little river to come next to this little food stand that I've got. This is a, a little food truck uh, stand area that I've got, and I wanted uh, a lake or a river to be right next to it. I'm gonna have to get the expansion pack. Yeah, if you love decorating, even if you don't like decorating, um, but you love Animal Crossing, I highly recommend getting the expansion pack because it unlocks a lot of cool stuff. 
I get a Switch for Christmas and I'm excited to play Animal Crossing. Oh my god, Emma, that's so exciting. I can't wait for you. I wish I could have all the inventory from Happy Home Paradise. Um, well, Elizabeth, I mean, you can buy you can buy the furniture that you use uh, using the Pokey that you earn. So whenever you play Happy Home Paradise, there is a currency called Pokey that you earn. And with all the Pokey you earn, you can actually buy the furniture that you decorate with there. You got to talk to Wendell um, inside of Happy Home Paradise uh, to buy the stuff. Um, you get this shovel once your island is at three stars. You have to get the three stars to unlock terraforming. That's what it's called. Um, what's your fave food recipe on Animal Crossing? Ooh, that's hard. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Probably a crepe or a pancake, but let's see. It's definitely gonna be a sweet. I love, I do love this Frosted Cookies one. Um, I do also love this, like, Fruit Cupcakes one, but let me see. What? I do like the, I don't know, I like a lot of the sweet stuff. <laughs> that's a really hard question, but, um, this peach pie is prettier than I ever will be. How do you know if your island is at three stars? So if you talk to uh, Tom Nook or Isabel, they'll tell you what your rating is at resident services. You might want to Google like how to get the three stars, but basically you need to like fill up your island with a lot of flowers and trees and, uh, and furniture, um, no clutter, and that'll help you get the three stars. But yeah, talk to Isabel. I've been crafting and selling and buying stuff for a long time and I want to do more. Do it, Hannah. Yeah, it takes a while to get the three stars, but, or sometimes it does, but, uh, yeah, I would Google, like, how to do it, but basically you need, like, 50 different flowers and, uh, trees, and then also putting down furniture, um, what will help, don't, you want to place furniture like this, you want it to come out like this, you do not want to drop furniture like this, you leave items out like this, and this is considered clutter, um, and that will lower your rating. And yeah, this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Welcome in. I'm at four stars and I need more trees, but I don't know where to put more trees. Oh no. <laughs> the beach maybe? Also uh, 50 pieces of fencing. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that. It's been a minute since I've had to get three stars, so I can't remember everything. I planted a flower fields that helps. Yeah, to raise your stars. I need to say thank you. You've helped me so much. No worries. Of course. What's your favorite Animal Crossing reaction? I love the confetti one. I'm a big fan of confetti, so get the confetti. <laughs> I just love confetti. I love confetti cake. I love confetti. <laughs> uh, what if you already, like, put a bunch of flowers all over your island, a bunch of sex accessories? So you need to talk to Isabel and Tom Nook to be able to find out, like, specifically Isabel. If you have Isabel on your island, then she will tell you your island's rating. Um, that's how you will know love your laugh oh thank you i appreciate it how do you get the white flooring so this is a custom code that i have in a tiktok that you can get but um, basically you go into your custom designs app and you if you have nintendo switch online you can use like these custom codes that people have made online um and that's how i got the white one that i'm using right now it's a white uh plank one so yeah my favorite villager is Melba. She's just the best. <laughs> I love her so much. I do want to make it a little more natural, so I probably... Mm, I guess I need to widen it a little bit. Because I don't want it to just be straight, you know? Let's see. Uh, where'd you get the display? Yeah, eBay and Macari. They're, they, yeah, they were only uh, sold in Japan in the early 2000s, like Shadow said. That's where I got the toys that you see on my desk. <laughs> okay, let me also build a little, like, piece of island over here, but let me do this. But yeah, I, I just wanted a nice little river right next to the food truck area. Ah, oh, nuts. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but yeah, and thank you for the follows, and thank you for 2,000 likes. I really appreciate it. There we go. I'm going to cover this area a little bit so that way I have more room to build. Do you take them out of your AC case or do you have... So yeah, Crystal, I have some of my houses down here. I actually have more houses than I've shown in my videos. Like, I've gotten more since I've shown some of my collection. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a few houses that I keep down here and then a few that I keep in my display case upstairs. Uh, what game is this? This is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. 
How do you get that bridge? You got to pay for it at resident services. Uh, yeah, you got to build it out for, uh, you just talked to Tom Nook about public work, uh, not public works, um, inclines and, uh, bridges. Love that for you, but that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have some of the figurines down here and then some upstairs, you know, that way I can keep everything, you know, I can just have it ready to go for the streams. God dang it. You know what? This is, mm, I don't know. This river's kind of wimpy looking and I, mm, I think we need to widen it a little bit. So we're going to widen it. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. That's the right one. Yeah. Talk to Tom Nook about infrastructure. Thank you, Allo. <laughs> I'm intrigued now. Ooh. Yeah. Be intrigued. Get the Animal Crossing. It's not like I'm obsessed with it or anything. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a little biased. And bye, Pineapple. Thanks for coming in. Uh, let the river run and be a narrow bridge. Yeah. I don't know. We'll s I, I think I want it a little narrow. I just want it like one more... One more, just one more th thickness. <laughs> it needs to be just a little thicker. Frick nuggets, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this, there we go. Can you get a villager back if you let them leave? Yeah, you can get them back. Um, you can like do nook mile hunts for them and you can use amiibo to bring them back. Uh, let's see, I just started terraforming and it's overwhelming. Your island looks nice. Oh, thank you. This is taking a lot of time for me to get to this point, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, this does not happen overnight. This is a lot of like, I I've like reiterated my island and reiterated certain spots on my island several times. The spot that I'm reiterating right now, I've actually done a few times now, but I think I finally have it. We'll see. Um, you need it. Yeah, you gotta hunt for them again or use Amiibo. If you have a villager that moved out that you wish to have back. Um, nuts. You know, I'm also realizing, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work the way I want it to, you know, because there's also this land right here and I kinda wanna keep the land here. Nuts! Okay, <laughs> we'll figure it out. When did you start playing Animal Crossing? So I've started playing Animal Crossing um, since 2002 um, with the first Animal Crossing on the GameCube. So yeah, that's, I've been playing for a while. <laughs> I've played every game. Will that a river flow through? So it won't like, so rivers have to be one space away from the cliff. So it's not gonna be able to come through here. And I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna get rid of this bridge too. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to curve the river a little bit. I think that's what we're going to do. And hi, Mario. Welcome in. I'm really glad I learned about flattening from you. Oh, hell yeah. You didn't want to restart, huh? <laughs> yeah, flattening. I love flattening. I think it's the way to go. But yeah, uh, I guess we're going to turn the river. We're just going to turn it. We're going to do a sharp turn. <laughs> it, it's like, we're, we're turning. Because that's the only choice we've got. <laughs> there we go. But that'll look. This this will look fine. This will be fine. Just fine. Oh nuts! I don't know. Maybe this is too close to the cliff. Hold on. We're gonna turn it a little earlier. <laughs> and yeah, terraforming can be a lot. But if you just like get into a head empty place in your mind, it's good. Like me streaming while terraforming helps. Like the process of like not thinking too much. So, uh, wedding video is almost done and I need, oh, awesome. That sounds like a really cool idea. How many I, uh, hours have you put into the specific world? Oh God. Uh, oh, frick. Oh, nuts. Um, oh, nuts. Um, uh, 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 so we're at, uh, we're at 2,200 hours. <laughs> Um, how do you add the coding to get the flooring? So you gotta, um, you gotta talk to the Able sisters to be able to do custom pass and stuff. And then, uh, uh, you, yeah, so that's, that's how, but yeah, um, 2,200 hours <laughs> and counting. Uh, Cause I'm done. I'm not done with my, with my stuff yet. I got about the same. Still have my starter island from 2020. Me too. I never got rid of my starter island. So I feel that. We're one in the same. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't look at the numbers too hard, okay? Don't look. <laughs> this is how I enjoy my free time, damn it. <laughs> uh, look. 
<laughs> it gives me joy. <laughs> and the world's funky. Let me have this. <laughs> I understand though. Hell yeah. I'm getting this game. Yeah, do it, mermaid. You'll love it. If you love life simulators, you'll love this. It takes time to get to where I'm at now, but um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Can you have multiple islands in AC? You can only have multiple Animal Crossing islands if you have multiple switches. Uh, you can only have one island per switch, unfortunately. It's not like Animal Crossing New Leaf where you, like, per cartridge you could have another island. Like, you could buy two Animal Crossing New Horizon uh, cartridges, but only have one island. Um, you have to have two switches to be able to have multiple, or multiple switches to have multiple islands. You can have more than one player house. So yeah, you can have multiple players on the island. So say like me and my brother or me and my husband wanted to play on the same island. We can both have characters on the same island. So, all right, this is, this will work out better. I just wanted to have a little bit of a waterfall moment next to this place, you know, just some water, you know, some landscaping. So this is fine. This is going to work out. Um, uh, my first AC game was the GameCube when I was, like, seven. Yeah, Sierra, I had the GameCube game, too, back when I was, like, ten. <laughs> and that was my first Animal Crossing game. And welcome in. Uh, not even another profile? Yeah, not even another profile, I know. People have tried, Crystal. People have tried. <laughs> it's really stinky. Really, that's the word for it, stinky. And thank you for almost 4,000 likes. I appreciate it, y'all. I love that truck. How did you get that? So you can get it from like a uh, Nook shop or Red shop, uh, the boat shop, um, and then also uh, through Happy Home Paradise. Uh, just got my first money tree. Hell yeah. Love that for you, Rhonda. That's so exciting. I remember my first money tree. <laughs> and thank you for 4,000 likes. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. All right, let's uh, landscape the frick out of this here. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. It is stinky. I like that. <laughs> I could just say it sucks, but I don't know. A stinky came out. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yeah, it, it stinks because I remember when, on the 3DS, whenever we had Animal Crossing New Leaf, people were just buying multiple New Leaf copies and having multiple towns. But with this game, no. You gotta buy the whole ass system to be able to freaking uh, play another island. It's ridiculous. So ridiculous. There we go. And then I'm trying to see because I want to be able to plant at least one tree up here. So I'm thinking let's do like this here and do like this. Okay, perfect. And then I'm thinking uh, we probably want to do like this too. Cause I want to have like kind of a curved edge. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh nuts. I gotta, I gotta curve that edge. I can't, I can't have it. I can't have it square. I'm not a square. <laughs> uh, you could buy the game on two different profiles though. No, it, I, I, it's per switch. So even if you have two different profiles, it's not going to work unless you have a magical switch that's uh, modded and stuff. Uh, yeah, there's only one Animal Crossing game per Switch, regardless of how many profiles you have. Um, have you finished catching all the fish and bugs for your museum? I only have a few more things I need to get, so I'm almost done. I've just prioritized decorating. Um, how do you get the shovel to carve the land? So this is called the terraforming tool, and you get it once you get to three stars on your island. Your island has to have a rating of three stars. And if you don't know what your rating is, go talk to Isabel at the Resident Services. And if there's no Isabel to talk to, then talk to Tom Nook and see what you need to do to improve your island. Um, I have it online on my Switch, but if my boyfriend bought the cartridge, he would have a different island. No, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many different copies of the game. If you're playing on one singular Switch, it will not work. You have to have two separate Switches to play uh, two different islands. It, I, I know. <laughs> Trust me, we've tried. <laughs> oh, no worries, Lauren. And thank you so much for, um, for the follows. I appreciate it. I'm a love Animal Crossing. Well, wow, what a cool ink ink. So do I. Welcome in, April. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're almost there. And hi, Lena. I love you mostest. Let's do this here. Go like this. God dang. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, right now, for those who might be coming in right now, I'm currently working on this like terraforming river scape area for my food truck stand that I have over here. So I got a couple of food truck stands here and I love them. I think they're real freaking cute. And yeah, so I'm just terraforming. <laughs> I love watching you play uh, Animal Crossing. <gasps> Hi, Marissa. I'm glad you do. Welcome in. <laughs> I just got Animal Crossing and I'm addicted. Hell yeah. Hannah, I know the feeling. I've been addicted for years. <laughs> can we get a tour of your island? Yeah, let me finish this piece up real quick and then I can give you a quick tour of the place. And then if you also want to tour it yourself, um, my dream address is updated, but it's definitely not like uh, complete, but you can take a screenshot on your phone now and you can come visit it. And three, two, one, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're almost done terraforming this piece of land here. Frick nuggets, I didn't mean to do that. I just logged off at Animal Crossing for the night, got on TikTok, <laughs> first saw your life. It knows, Williams, it knows. <laughs> It's like, you better get back on that grind. But welcome in. Happy to have you here. But I understand if you are done with Animal Crossing for the day. I understand. <laughs> I kind of like the edge like this. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll keep that. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely like this. Um, it just like makes, it livens the land up over here. So I like this. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this is this is looking good. We're gonna have to get rid of this bridge. So let's go to resident services. And while we go to resident services, I'll show you my island. So yeah, this is all blank right now that you're seeing, but there's a lot that's still decorated, but uh, yeah. And hi, Cassandra, welcome in. Never enough Animal Crossing, you're telling me, bub. <laughs> Played for nine hours straight yesterday. God, I wish to be you. <laughs> Can I see, uh, can I see more use of your castle walls? Yeah, at the museum, I have a lot of castle walls. So this is the entrance to my island. It, it, your island seems lovely. Oh, thank you, Sid, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, this is the entrance to my island. It's a town core kind of themed island. It's full of like uh, bakeries and restaurants and stuff. So we've got like up here. <clears throat> oh God, sorry, that was a spasm. Um, so this is a bakery area. I literally just now noticed the little houses in front of your uh, desk. Yeah, I love them, they're so cute. The Twitch stream was awesome. Oh, thank you. But yeah, this is a little bakery area. And then there's a secret little hidden spot here that you can use to climb up to get to this donut shop here. I think it's freaking fantastic. I have COVID and I've been playing nonstop for four days. Hey, I understand. Do what you got to do to get through that. I am so sorry you're dealing with that. Um, but yeah, so this is a bakery and the donut shop up there. And then we have this little alleyway here. And then this is my favorite part of my island is just this. It's just beautiful. Like, it's just so pretty. But this is my boba shop. I, uh, yeah, the boba tea shop that I have. It's got all sorts of boba teas. And I just think it's so pretty. It's just, I'll never, I'll never do better than this. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> I'll never do better than that. I haven't played for a couple weeks or a month and I need to start playing again. Yeah, human, you need to. You need to. Um, over here we have resident services and then right in front of resident services we have an ice cream stand over here. I need to put ice cream out again, but yeah, we have a little ice cream store here and then like a little sitting area here. And then this connects back to the, uh, the entrance of my island here. Is that a toy dispenser? The pink item? Yeah, it was a toy dispenser. It's a toy capsule machine. Let me see. I know it was up here. Over here threw me off when you said human. <laughs> I was addressing the medium human that was in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, this is a toy capsule machine. It's so cute and you can click on it and it jiggles around. I can't click it on it from here, but uh, do you have the Happy Home Paradise? I do have the DLC. It's so much fun. But yeah, this is resident services here. And then behind resident services, we have a little smoothie stand here. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna reiterate this, but I I like the build. I think I'm just gonna like theme it better. But yeah, it's got a little rooftop. I just, I need to work on it a little bit more. You're gonna look so nice. Thank you and welcome in Haley. Up here we have the Cinnamon Roll Cafe for crepes. It's crepe themed, but it's the Cinnamon Roll Cafe and I love it. So we have that right behind resident services. And then there's also a little secret entrance that you can take to climb up to get to the rooftop area of the Cinnamon Roll Cafe here. And you have lovely views from here. What an amazing island. How do you get all these cool items? 
I've gotten a lot of the cool items from Happy Home Paradise and then just buying a crap ton of items. <laughs> What's the path code? I do have a TikTok. One of my recent TikToks talking about the custom paths that I use on my island. So you can find them there. And it has like all of the different, uh, the codes and stuff. Um, you got Chai to move to your island. I want her to move to mine so bad. Yeah, I love Chai. She's my second favorite. Do you have a streaming schedule? I do. While you look at this area, this has the castle walls. This is leading up to my uh, museum area. So my stream uh, schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I stream on TikTok um, around 9.30 p.m. Central. And then on Twitch, I stream on Thursday, Saturdays, and Sundays at about 5.30 p.m. Central. And I know that was a lot to think about, but there's a link in my profile that you can use to find all the stream schedule stuff. How'd you get the cinnamon furniture? You gotta get the Sanrio Amiibo. When you get the Sanrio Amiibo cards, you can go to special goods and then you can find the Sanrio items from the Sanrio uh, Amiibo cards in here. And that's how I got the cinnamon roll stuff. I have Toby on my island. Toby's super cute. Doey drew my new profile pic. Oh, I love that, Lexi. How fun. But yeah, this is uh, my museum area. Very fancy schmancy. Those models of the houses on your desk are so cute. Thank you, Miranda. Welcome in. Um, this is Judy's fancy tea house. I really like how their house looks here, um, right next to the museum. And then we have Marshall's fancy coffee shop right next to the museum as well. So that's good. And then for the ladies, we've got a mimosa bar, a secret hidden mimosa bar here by the ocean. <laughs> it's just um, I just started uh, acquiring some San Rio furniture from my Mi Mebos. Hell yeah, yeah, get all the San Rio furniture. Um, so yeah, there's uh, that. And then um, over here, this is like one of my favorite spots on my island too. So this is an area that leads up to where Red docks his boat, so the back uh, secret beach. And, uh, yeah, it's got like a little bakery and the mimosa bar is on top of there, but there's a little bread bakery. And then we have a cookie and muffin store here. And I think it's great. I have my Judy and Marshall right next to each other. Oh yeah. I love Judy and Marshall. <laughs> We're twins. I asked him on a stream who has more Animal Crossing stuff and he said you had more than him. Uh, probably. I don't know. Um, possibly. I have a lot. I have a very impressive Animal Crossing collection. <laughs> but this is um, my lemonade stand over here on top of this rooftop. I love it. The moon lamp. I want one of those. Hell yeah. How'd you get the Italian looking colorful buildings? Yeah, so these are called medieval building sides. So let me pick it up. It's a piece of furniture. That's what it's called, a medieval building side. You can get these from somebody trading with somebody on Nookazon or the Happy Home Paradise DLC or from Red's Boat Shop. Um, there's many different ways to buy it, but it is kind of a more rare item. But uh, yeah, Red's Boat Shop tends to work if you don't have online stuff or you don't have the DLC. So um, coming back this way and it comes in many different colors, as you can see. Coming back this way, we have my carnival that's right next to my smoothie stand. I love it. So yeah, this is the smoothie stand we saw earlier and then come around here and then you find my carnival. And I think it, it turned out really nice. I love it. <laughs> Major Jenna Marbles energy and I love it. Yeah, I love Jenna Marbles. <laughs> I was already saying hell yeah and then like she just like made it 10 times better. Um, and then we are arriving to where I was before. So this is a... Uh, uh, this is um, Marty's house. He's got a pancake restaurant. So let me uh, show you what it looks like because I've decorated his house. And you can decorate your villager houses after you've done 30 houses in the DLC. Oh, nuts. He's sick. Oh, nuts. I'll get over medicine later. But this is the pancake store that I made him. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> Basically, all of the villagers on my island have like restaurants and stores and stuff. How do you get to that level? It takes a lot of time, mom. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> Honestly, like my biggest tip for decorating is just throw crap around. You never know what something's gonna look like until you throw it around. You don't know how many times I've reiterated things. Like I've taken things down and then redone it. Um, but yeah, and then this is also my nook's cranny here, but yeah, that's basically it, um, but yeah. I've called Marty my to my island so many times, but he doesn't want to move here. So you need to make sure um, whenever you're scanning an amiibo card to move them in, first make their DIY, 
Then second, give them the DIY. Then the most important part is ask them to move in. Once you've asked them to move in three times, three separate days, they'll move in. So you have to do it three different days, um, those three steps. Make sure you talk to them after you give them a DIY and then they'll move in on the third time. How do you get produce for cooking? So you can get produce from Leaf, um, the sloth that comes to your island once a week, or you can get them from Nook Mile tickets, or I'm sorry, Cap and Island tickets. Um, your live is what I need today. Oh, Courtney, I'm glad to hear it. Welcome in. I want meringue so bad she doesn't fit in with the theme I'm going for. Oh, nuts, Sharla. Do it anyway. <laughs> and hi, welcome in. Um, okay, so perfect. We have this now. Oh, nuts. I meant to go to resident services and get rid of this bridge. So let's go do that real quick. <laughs> yeah, see, I made a TikTok recently too, talking about the Cap'n tours um, and how to do that. Once you have three stars, you can do the Cap'n Island tours and that'll help you get more crops to grow. Um, but yeah, Leaf um, also sells crops at his little shop that he does once a week at your uh, island and also he sells stuff weekly on Harv's Island if you have that unlocked. Can you get a villager to come back to your island after they left? Yeah, so you just have to either use an amiibo to move them back in or search for them through Nook Miles, uh, do a villager hunt. Kudos for saying my night name right, by the way. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I did. Do you have everyone from the San Rio collab amiibos in your island? Not everybody, um, just Chai and Marty. Um, Frick Nuggets, I didn't wanna do layout changes, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, just Chai and Marty, those are my favorites. How can I get more people to live on my island? So you need to talk to Tom Nook and uh, just work with him. You can only have up to 10 villagers. Uh, infrastructure, there we go. Sending love and positive. Uh, let me see, Courtney, yeah. Courtney, I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> And hi, Spinosaurus Rex. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> They're the two I want on my island. Two, we're twins. We are twins. Okay, we got to demolish that bridge. So we're doing that. Um, and thank you so much for the follows. And thank you for 5,000 likes. I really appreciate y'all. And again, if you hear my husband yelling, I promise he's fine. He's just, you know, he's just gaming with the boys. You know, you know how they be. You know. <laughs> I promise he's fine. <laughs> That'll probably be me after the live stream when I play Splatoon with my friends. <laughs> I'll probably also be yelling. How do you get the walls for island decorating? So I got the walls from, uh, I got them from the Happy Home Paradise DLC, but you can get them from Red's uh, boat shop as well. Um, they're the cutest. Uh, let me see. Any effects in time traveling backwards? Nope. There's no, there's no time effects. Uh, there's no effects for time traveling, but if you are playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, I've heard that time traveling is not uh, very good um, with uh, that game. So if you have Dreamlight Valley on your Switch and Animal Crossing, be sure that if you're tri time traveling for Animal Crossing, set your time back to internet uh, synchronized time so that way it doesn't mess up your Dreamlight Valley game. We have to wait for wave three of the booster course pass. I know, but it's soon. It's coming soon. But yeah, I'm time traveling right now so that way we can get the bridge out of the way and we can keep uh, terraforming. Um, what was the name of the expansion pack we talked about earlier? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is Happy Home Paradise. You go into the Nintendo eShop on your homepage and just search Animal Crossing. Um, but you'll probably find it when you search Animal Crossing and it's called Happy Home Paradise. <laughs> That's the expansion pack. I'm watching you while I'm supposed to be working. <gasps> Spit, come on, you just work. Don't, you don't have to talk to me. Just listen to me. <laughs> I don't like the background waterfalls behind the residential service building. Well, that's okay. You don't have to like it. <laughs> it's for me. It's my island. Same with Cozy Grove. Time travel is not friendly with it. Oh, really? Yeah, so... If you time travel in Animal Crossing, just keep in mind your other animal or your other games that use time, real time, you gotta be careful. Um, time traveling makes me so anxious. Yeah, no, time traveling with Animal Crossing doesn't matter. It, it does not matter. You're all good. Don't worry about it. And that's the only game I play with that uses my time, so it's fine. This week has been rough. We got news Tuesday from two family. Oh man, I'm so sorry that it's been rough. Um, I hope it looks up soon, but yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that for you, Courtney. I know you've had a lot on your plate lately. 
<laughs> yeah, it's for me. This is my island. This is my game. This is my free time. I don't really care if people don't like it. <laughs> I tried it and it wasn't fun, but I haven't mastered it yet. Yeah, I, I promise. Time traveling is very forgiving when it comes to Animal Crossing, as my friend Terrestrial says. It's very forgiving. Um, but uh, there we go. No, I'm not talking to Melba. I'm not talking to her. She's not allowed to ever leave. <laughs> going to bed have a great night oh well thank you williams thank you so much for being here i hope you have a great night and get you get you some sleep <laughs> what are your turnip prices i don't know i'm not gonna check <laughs> i'm not doing turnips right now um well, let's see uh nice i want to finish my museum so bad i'm trying to travel back and forth Ooh, yeah it can doing the museum stuff is a lot of hard work uh best way to get rid of excess flowers oh god uh yeah good luck <laughs> yeah excess flowers are a they're just a butt and a half um i mean honestly the best way is maybe having your friends come over and you guys have a flower shoveling party i've done that with my friends or like people online you can find and they'll help you um uh the only other tip i have is that katrina if you have Harv's Island unlocked and you have Katrina unlocked, Katrina can help you, um, she can help you basically enhance your shovel so it never breaks for a day um, with a good belongings charm. Uh, again, I have a TikTok about this a little bit, um, but uh, that's the only other thing. But even then, you still got to shovel everything up. Selling them or giving them away on exit. Uh, bro, I just throw them away. Yeah, throw them away, sell them. I don't know. Stole from random islands. No. Mario Kart uh, Tours 3DS Anniversary Tour is the last time the gotcha pipes will be in the game. Oh, really? I haven't played the Mario Kart uh, game on the phone in a while. I play it on the Switch all the time, but yeah. I just got Melba as a villager. Hell yeah, I love that. Melba is cute. Melba's my favorite. I bought a trash can and would shovel and dump it in the trash can. Yeah, that that is a good way to do it too. I would always sell it, but honestly, that's probably faster is just dumping it into the trash can. Y'all got, you got smart noodles in those heads. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Courtney. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's a lot to take in, man. That's a super ton to take in. Uh, what's the expansion cut pack called? Yeah, so that's called ha Happy Home Paradise. So um, it says Happy Home Network, but basically you just type in Happy Home Paradise and that's the that's the uh, DLC that you can buy from the the uh, Nintendo eShop. I meant to say dig them out. <laughs> I try to keep people's flowers. No, it's okay. No worries. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Courtney. Um, yeah, no worries, Emma. No worries at all. I'm just I'm covering up these rivers because I, I want to have free reign of what I'm doing. I'm so sleepy. I'm going to bed. No worries, Amandies. I understand. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. You're so sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm still trying to get the KK concert to come. So mom, you need to throw down a lot of flowers, like 50 flowers, throw down some fencing, put down some trees, and then put down some furniture, but don't have clutter. So this, oh, frick nuggets. Um, if you just drop things like this, this is considered clutter and will lower your rank or your rating. Um, also talk to Isabel to see what, what else you need to up your rating. Katrina, can you remove bridges? Yeah, you can remove bridges. You just got to talk to Tom Nook to do it. And what about Katrina? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Madison. What about Katrina? <laughs> I do have a TikTok about Katrina if you want to find out about her. Um, yeah, no worries, mom. I, I believe in you. I believe in you <laughs> from one mom to another. I believe in you. <laughs> Who is Katrina? So Katrina is a Black Panther fortune telling cat. <laughs> Black Panther wasn't enough. I had to say cat too. But yeah, they're a fortune teller that you can get on Harv's Island. Again, there's a TikTok about her um, on my page that you can find. Um, but yeah, she's a fortune teller and she helps bring either good or bad luck to your game. So yeah. I haven't gotten her yeah you have to unlock harv's island and then you got to pay a hundred thousand bells to have her on there <laughs> have you heard about dreamlight valley i have smooth king i have but i 
I'm not gonna buy it yet because I still gotta finish Breath of the Wild and uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I, you know, if it's gonna be free next year, so I, I, I might as well wait for Dreamlight Valley if I've still got games to finish, so. But yeah, I've been watching my friends play, and it looks like a lot of fun. Um, I have... I have the regular one, but I meant the one she's using. Oh, nuts. Okay, no worries. Uh, any tips on how to get from four stars to five stars? Isabel just keeps saying to decorate more. Well, then listen to Isabel. You just got to keep putting more furniture down. What she's asking for is you for to just start placing furniture like this. <laughs> if you really just want the five stars, just place a bunch of furniture on the island. You can pick it up later. Ooh, what I learned recently. So if you once you have this and smoothie king thank you so much for the roses you make me think of smoothie king anyways that's, um what you can do is put down a random clothing design that you have like you can create one or something but put down a random cl uh clothing design say display here and do this and this counts as furniture this counts as furniture and then when you're ready to get rid of everything so this will help you get to five stars. Once you're ready to get rid of everything, you just delete the code and it will delete all of these that you put down. That's uh, one way to get to five stars or three stars easily is just putting down a clothing furniture um, like that from a design. And hi, purple, welcome in. You also have to have at least 50 fences. Yeah, you need 50 fences. Thank you, Air, uh, uh, Williams. The one Ash is using is for terraforming. Yeah, you gotta get to three stars to use the shovel I'm using. That's so smart. I know. I learned that from terrestrial streams. She learned it from somebody else, but I was just like, that is freaking genius. <laughs> do you, what do you mean Dreamlight will be free? Yeah, Dreamlight Valley will be free next year. That, that's, that's the tweet. <laughs> right now it's in beta, but you get perks for buying it right now. Um, there are perks for it, but, um, but yeah, it, it will be free next year. On the Switch? Yeah, it will be free. It's on the Switch, um, but yeah. I don't know too much about Dreamlight Valley. You might want to Google some things. I don't play it yet, so, but yeah. Um, how can I build stairs going up to my house because I live on a hill? So you need to talk to Tom Nook and you can uh, build, he, and talk to him about inclines and then you can build stairs that way. Uh, do, 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 do. It's for terraforming, I believe. Yeah, you unlock, so what I'm doing, making rivers and land, this is a shovel that's from the terraforming um, app and you unlock it once your island's at three stars. And yeah, no worries. I'm currently at two stars. You can do it, Air. You're almost there. You're almost there. How am I supposed to... I'm sorry, I'm seeing messages from my friends and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you saw that shadow, the one that uh, <laughs> somebody said. <laughs> I almost read the message out loud. <laughs> What is Dreamlight Valley? Yeah, so Dreamlight Valley is a game made by Disney that combines Animal Crossing, Sims, Stardew Valley. It basically just combines a lot of cool cozy games all into one thing. And it looks really good. Um, but right now you have to pay to play it but because it's in beta. But you get perks for paying to play it. Um, but it will be free next year. But I'm sure there will be like, you know, things that you can pay for too. What time are you getting off? Um, I can't remember when I started. <laughs> I'll probably go until about 10, 15 uh, central. It's 10 o'clock now, so maybe another 15 minutes. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to get a bridge so we can put it here. Is it really comparable to it all? I'm on edge for it. Yeah, no, it really is. I've watched a lot of gameplay, and it looks a lot like a lot of fun. If you love life simulators and you love Disney, then you'll la love Dreamlight Valley for sure. I haven't yet since I'm on mobile. Oh, no worries. You're fine. Sims? Yeah, it's got sim elements to it. Um, like, basically, you just, like, you get to live in a play Disney place and, you you know, like, main Disney characters can become your, like, villagers and neighbors, basically. Um, but, yeah, it, it does glitch a lot because it is new. You're absolutely right. Um, but, I mean, it's in beta. They released it as beta so that way people can, uh, you know, experience it and report the bugs and stuff, so... Yeah, Crystal, me and you both. I'll, I'll play it when it's free. I've got other games to finish that I've paid for already. <laughs> it's it's look It looks really cool. I really want to play it, but I, I already got enough on my plate right now. Um, so, yeah. Me and you both, honey. If it's free, it's for me. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. Help with bug troubleshooting. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, because they're, what's cool about Dreamlight Valley is they've released it for, like, every platform. So, PC, uh, Switch, Xbox, PS4, I don't know, whatever. Um, it's, like, on everything, so, which is really cool. I don't know what else to say. No worries, Mario. Um, I have it free for Xbox. Yeah, so if you have an Xbox Game Pass, you can play Dreamlight Valley for free um, on your Xbox. Um, I probably won't play until they put it on the Switch. So it is on the Switch right now, but again, it's in beta. It's not complete. Um, and it's a little, I think it's glitchier on the Switch. Um, but again, it's also not free right now. So take that into account. Um, where'd you get those houses from? So these are from Macari and eBay, basically resale websites because like, they're from the early 2000s and were only sold in Japan. Welcome in. What is beta? So beta means that it is not complete. Um, it is still being worked on, but it's, uh, you know, it, you know, a game will be in beta whenever it's not complete, basically. That's what beta means, if that makes sense. <laughs> put it in Stitch, like Lilo and Stitch. Oh, that's what you meant. Put it, in, put Lilo and Stitch in. Oh, that'll be so cute. That'll be so cute. You haven't had any problems yet? Hell yeah, Nicole. Love that. Um, okay, I think this is perfect. And if I hate it, I hate it. But I'll live with that mistake. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pay the guy. Also, prototype. Yeah, prototype works too. Um, okay, I gotta I gotta get my monies. Do I have wait? Uh frick nuggets. I don't know where my storage unit is. Oh, nuts. You know what? Actually, I think I do now. I think it's over here. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, there it is. Let's bring you over here. And let's bring you over here. <laughs> that way, if I need to teleport, I can. Yeah, I still need to build all these areas out. You know, I, I start an area and then I move on and don't finish it. It's great. <laughs> and thank you for almost 6,000 likes. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, all right, so let me put my freaking pipe here and we'll put up a storage unit here. There we go. Wait, you have flowers on the beach? Yeah, you can put flowers on the beach if you want the if you want them to stop making more flowers. And then also like I use I put them on the beach to like keep them out of the way while I'm terraforming. So yeah, you can put flowers on the beach. They won't grow. They won't grow, but you can't put them out. How many bells do you have? Oh, you're about to see, honey, because I'm about to pull bells out. <laughs> I've got millions. It's so, yeah, we've got, we've got money. I'm trying to find my ATM. Love the aesthetic of the stream. Oh, thank you. Welcome in. Can you play this game on the Xbox? Unfortunately not. This is only on the Nintendo Switch. There we go. So here's my bank. <laughs> I need somewhere to save them. Yeah, definitely put them on the beach then. Okay, so this is how much money I have. <laughs> I wish I was this dedicated to Animal Crossing. I have so many ideas, but can't seem to start anything. Brie, honestly, just like, I don't know, put on a movie and then just go brain dead for a little bit and just play. <laughs> That's what I tend to do. And like, I like streaming this game because it allows me to not really think about it and just go for it. I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of what I recommend. Sure, I'll help. Uh, no, I'm not visiting islands right now, but thank you for the invite. Is this the dream decorator? No, this is not a dream decorator. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. 12 million? Yeah, I've got, I've done a lot of, uh, turnip stocks. <laughs> How do you get an out outdoor ATM? So you get it from the Nook Miles machine. You gotta redeem Nook Miles for it, so. Um, I don't know when you unlock it, but yeah, that's how you get it. Uh, nuts. I think this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but I think this will look really good uh, having this here. And I'm thinking then I can bring this orchard, um, this little orchard that I have um, forward over here, you know, kind of expanded over here. I could probably even put Melba's farm over here, honestly. And hi! Um, so, Cactus, my uh, island theme is like town core theme. Um, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but if I get over here, there you go. There's the town core. There it is. <laughs> and bye, Purple. Thank you so much for coming by. I've never seen that in the Nook Miles catalog before. Yeah, you might 
have to unlock it. Like, sometimes the, not all the items show up right away. You might have to unlock it. I cannot remember completely, but I would definitely Google it. Do a good Google, and that'll tell you. <laughs> all right, I'm definitely keeping that land, but we're taking this tree down. Honestly, hate my island layout, and I feel like uh, that's where a lot of my problems lie. Yeah, that could be a thing. That definitely could be a thing. Um, if anything, you can always restart your island, but I know that sucks because then you have to start all over, but there's also flattening. If you don't mind flattening your island, that could help too. Let's do like this. Did you get all the bells yourself or via Treasure Islands? I got them through doing turnip market stuff. So yeah, by myself. I pretty much do everything by myself. The only time I use Treasure Islands is to get Nook Mile items because it's such a kitten caboodle to buy so many Nook Mile items. Like, and plus it's like so hard to like, I don't know. I, I don't want to buy just five things at a time. I want to buy a whole bunch of things, you know? I don't, you know, that's the only time I use uh, Treasure Islands is for Nook Mile stuff and for DIY kits. Um, yeah, no worries. Um, hope to visit through Dream Address or whatever you're finished. Yeah, so I do have a Dream Address. It's not complete, but take a screenshot on your phone. You're welcome to come visit my Dream Address. Um, if you just want to walk around and see what I've got in progress so far, you're more than welcome. And literally me right now zoning out watching your live and just terraforming. Love that, Hannah. Welcome. <laughs> just got my island to five stars as I'm typing. Oh, congrats! What's a treasure island? Um, look it up on Twitch. Uh, I can't really, I don't really want to talk about it because I'm not an expert on treasure islands and I don't want to give you false information, but basically it's a way for you to get a lot of free stuff or not free stuff, but a lot of, uh, stuff really quickly and easily, um, in Animal Crossing. And hi, Deanna, welcome in. Do you time travel? I do time travel whenever I'm decorating. Whenever I'm just playing the game just to play it, I don't time travel, but I've been time traveling like crazy because I keep decorating. And we'll visit soon? No, nah, yeah, no worries. Thank you for wanting to visit. What's your next Animal Crossing merch showcase? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> You'll find out tomorrow what's next. Um, tomorrow I'm thinking I'm gonna make a room tour update. So for those who don't know, my room, uh, you know, this fine 30 year old lady has decorated her room to be Animal Crossing themed. And I've gotten some updates since the last time I've made a TikTok about my room. So uh, I'll be filming that tomorrow. It won't release tomorrow, but uh, it will be coming. <laughs> um, trust the sites that drop stuff on your island after... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. What events slash holiday do you look forward to? I look forward to Halloween and, uh, and uh, the Christmas or Toy Day event. I like those events, but I just love Christmas and Halloween in general. So, but on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming all of the Animal Crossing games for Halloween and just like comparing the Halloween events to each one of them. Um, there we go. And let me get rid of this here. I love Treasure Island. Can you, yeah, tre Treasure Islands are definitely really nice. I just don't, I don't use them that much. Just Nook Mile items. That's the only thing. Treasure Islands? Yeah, I would look it up on Twitch. <laughs> I love that room concept. Yeah, you'll you'll love my TikToks then. It's full of showing my room a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking I might need to shrink the river a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to, like, make this kind of, like, work, you know? Because it's kind of an awkward thing. It's an awkward space. I feel like I gotta get rid of these trees down here for everyone that plays animal crossing character would you be uh, uh i don't know what i would be for animal crossing um in real life i'm gonna be halloween town goofy <laughs> i'm gonna be halloween town goofy from kingdom hearts for halloween <laughs> and yeah you can find my twitch link in the link in my bio if you want to find my twitch uh, Treasure Islands can help get DIYs and free items. Yeah, there, there's a lot of good material at Treasure Islands. Like, you know, if you, that's what you want to do, go for it because it's your game. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I'm going to be goofy from Hollow, uh, from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Halloween Town version of Kingdom Hearts. Me trying to stay awake while watching your live while slowly falling asleep. Hey, if you need to get sleep, go get sleep. Thank you so much for just being here for a little bit. I appreciate it. 
And thank you for sharing the live too. And thank you for the likes as well, y'all. And for the follows. And thank you for 6,000 likes. Let me just thank y'all for just having your presence here on this earth, okay? <laughs> gender Ben Goofy. My mom is going to be Gender Ben. Uh, I mean, I don't think it really matters when it comes to the gender thing. I'm just doing it. I'm just being Halloween Town Goofy. <laughs> I'm just doing it. And hi, Spine. Welcome in. Um, playing the game and listening because it is so calming. Oh, I'm glad you think I'm calming. I find my voice to be pretty weird, so I'm glad you find it calming, Rhonda. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Let's do that. I guess, I guess this works. I liked having the trees there. Maybe, maybe we'll take down some of this land here. And then we can add some trees here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's all my crops that we need to build Melba farm is what we need to do. Your laugh is so cute. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I think it's ridiculous, but I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking along with this orchard over here, I want to make Melba's house because Melba's house is like a farmhouse. So I'm thinking we need to do that. I also need to find a way to like merge these together a little bit better. Maybe I'm actually going to expand the land a little bit this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but we'll get it. How do you get the storage closet? So the storage closet is you have to first get a DIY for the storage uh, shed and you get the DIY from the Nook Miles machine. And then from there, you'll be able to buy uh, other storage sheds, but you got to get the DIY first. Then you'll be able to access your storage from away from your home. Um, gotta go now. No worries. Bye. Bye, Mario. Appreciate you coming by. Um, let me see if I, uh, missed anything. I love your Twitch and I watched your hubby the other night for the first time as well. Oh, hell yeah, Nicole. Yeah, my, my husband also streams on Twitch, uh, pretty much every night except Friday night. So he's not streaming tonight. Any good way of getting three stars? Yes. Put down like 50, 50 flowers, 50 pieces of fences and, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll set you up real nice. I think and this is looking good. Never played Animal Crossing, but it looks fun. It's a lot of fun. If you like life simulators and like decorating, then you'd love it. Uh, but yeah, I got to find a smoother way to kind of work this out. I'm thinking I might expand this way a little bit. So that way we can have kind of a, like an entrance area. So let's actually do that. Instead of talking about it, let's just do it. God dang it. <laughs> I was wondering the schedule for the, his. Yeah, my husband streams basically every night on Twitch except for uh, Friday nights. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, streaming's like his big thing. So I don't stream as much because I've got a lot going on, but he, he streams a lot. <laughs> a lot of Pokemon content if you love that, especially shiny hunting. If you love shiny hunting and Pokemon, you'll, you'll love my husband. <laughs> and hi, Amphibia. Welcome in. You gotta sleep now? No worries, human. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by. Can you put items away into storage and by accessing your storage closet? Yep, you can. It's very, very handy. Uh, you can access the storage that you have at home and you can put storage uh, for your home in there. It's very handy. Um, what time does his usually start right after yours? Yeah, so my husband usually starts his streams at about 8.30 p.m. Central, um, every day. Um, sometimes 7, maybe a little earlier, but, uh, yeah, that's when he starts. Yeah. Um, finally got my storage shed. Oh, I love that for you. Congrats. I just finished designing Aurora's vacation home. Ooh, how'd that go? I love that. I need to get back into Happy Home Paradise, but I have so many Happy Home Paradise videos to edit. God, I just haven't. So I'm like, I don't want to play more Happy Home Paradise until I actually have time to like edit all the other videos. It'd be cool if you and Doey collab. I, yeah, I know. I definitely want to do that. I don't know what we would do, but I definitely want to do that. <laughs> I love Doey. Doey's so cool. Oh, da -da. Well, actually, uh, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to flow. Um, let's do this. Uh, Gaia, it's 11.15 my time. I think your time is an hour behind. Yep, I'm in central time zone, so I'm an hour behind. Uh, she wanted a florist shop. Ooh, I think I actually did Aurora's house before, so I think I know what you're talking about. That's awesome. 
nuts. Okay, actually, we're gonna keep this, and I think what we're gonna do is add the walls here. Let's do that. Because we'll just put, we'll piece, put a piece of furniture in the corner and it'll make me do feel better about my choices. We'll do like this. There we go. Because look, it's just, I can see the gap and I hate it. <laughs> but also I need to expand though. And I can't move this area. Maybe I, maybe I do go back. Hold on. One. I searched up town and you popped up. That's how I found this live. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> So you weren't even looking up Animal Crossing stuff. You were just looking up town. <laughs> well, I love that for you. I'm glad you found me. <laughs> if you don't stick around, if it's not your cup of tea, I understand. But I appreciate you giving me a chance. <laughs> YouTube and Pinterest and Google will be your friend and dream address. Yeah, looking up all sorts of things on YouTube and Pinterest to like decorate. That's like the best way to get inspiration. A lot of my inspiration for my island came from watching tour videos on YouTube and uh, looking up Pinterest stuff, like I've gotten a lot of ideas from those places. Mm, where the hell is my other freaking, what the frick nugget? Where'd it go? Oh, I know because I did, yeah, okay. You know what, that's fine. All right, well, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll take a few advice, thank you guys. Yeah, no worries. Uh, let me um, Let me grab another wall here. But yeah, that's how I got a lot of inspiration. Just honestly, um, you could also just like straight up mimic what people are doing and it helps you learn like how things are built and stuff and like how things can flow. Um, I, yeah, I, I highly recommend just like rebuilding what people have built so that way you can kind of understand like how people layer things and how it just, you know, how it works. Uh, there we go. Let me throw this wall here. There we go. Nuts! Hold on. I'm gonna do it like right here. I can't have gaps. There we go. Perfect. So that's probably why I had one more piece of land here. So that way <laughs> it wouldn't show the gap. Uh, how do you get the shed? Yeah, so Jessica, you get the shed by uh, first unlocking uh, the DIY from the Nook Miles uh, machine at Resident Services. And then once you get that DIY, you're able to get many different versions of the shed. PSA, if you want to hide the chat, press and hold, then press clear display. Oh, okay, good. Good to know. Uh, nuts. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Let's see. And thank you so much for the follows and for the likes. Thank you for almost 7,000 likes. I appreciate y'all. Let's put all this path down. And yeah, no worries, Jessica. Yeah. And if anything, if that didn't help, I would Google it, but... Basically, that's all you got to do is unlock the DIY, and then you can buy different sheds. There we go. Let me throw down some more gadding uh, path here. Because then we need to have, like, an entryway that takes you back into this area. I don't think we need... Do we need it to go this far? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe we do. I don't know. But I also have Teddy's shop up here that I need to, like, figure out what to do with. But I think this is looking pretty good. I don't know how it's all going to flow quite yet, but we'll figure it out. I might even have to move the river over a little bit more. I don't know. But for now, this is how it's going to look. And my my night is going great, Alex. Welcome in. I'm, I'm having a great night. And love the, a good Animal Crossing stream. I love that. I'm glad you do. Me too. What is the worst villager you can think of from memory? Oh, I can tell you right away, Amphibia. It's Rodney. I cannot stand Rodney. Rodney's the worst. How do you have the motivation to finish your island? I've been halfway done for over a year. I definitely, like, burn out and, like, don't care about my island sometimes. But I don't know. I, I just don't think about it too much. And I'm just, like, I just come to it whenever I'm ready to just, like, decorate and have fun. I don't know. But whenever you just like have a goal in mind of what you want to do with your island i think that kind of helps too and hi child welcome in all right y'all i'm starting to run low on battery i'm old and tired <laughs> oh alex thank you so much for the finger heart and thank you for the telescope holy crap thank you so much i really appreciate the gifts there was a youtuber that said sui was the most brutal villager ever really Ooh. Yeah, I don't like Rodney. Anyways, 
Um, I gotta get to bed. I'm old and tired. <laughs> so I will be back on TikTok on Monday at 9.30 p.m. Central, and then I will be on Twitch tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Central. You can find my stream uh, schedule in the link in my bio. Um, but yeah, oh please, old, not even. Okay, listen, I'm older than a lot of people on TikTok, all right? <laughs> all right, good night, everybody. I hope you have a great day or evening, wherever you are. I don't know where you live, don't need to know. But thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate it. Check out the link in bio if you want to see more of my face. And I'll see you later. Bye. And thank you so much for all the kind gifts and for the likes and for the follows. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.